President Xi's visit saw several deals signed between China and the UAE. A total of 13 agreements and memorandums of understanding were reached covering energy, e-commerce, the Belt and Road Initiative, and real estate. I spoke with Nader Habibi, professor of economics at the Middle East Institute at Brandeis University, about the historic deals. I started by asking what stood out. Actually, UAE and China have been uh, significant trade partners for each other as far as China's trade partners in the Middle East. Um, what you uh, refer to are 13 mutual of understanding announcements that were mentioned today. Um, um, almost all of them are important, but there were announcements on energy. There was an announcement with regard to uh, construction of uh, a um, a, significant, a very large mall for Chinese products by EMR Corporation. Um, there has been agreements on um, introduction of a coal plant, which has a clean um, energy coal plant, which has already received funding from the Silk Road Initiative um, project. The UAE, uh, as you've been talking about, is a major energy exporter and hub for international trade. And yes. it's important because it is investing in infrastructure linking China by sea and land to many Asia, to many markets in Asia and Europe. But how else is it important? Well, it is a major re-export hub for Chinese products. Uh, trade between UAE and China in 2017 was $54 billion, and this is non-oil trade. Of this, about 90% was Chinese exports to UAE, and of those exports, almost 60% uh, were re-exported to various destinations in the Middle East and Africa. So, as a hub, for re-export of Chinese products, UAE is significant, and it's going to become even more significant as uh, various um, road and sea routes for the Belt and Road Initiative are completed. For example, the Pakistan Economic Corridor between Western China and the um, Arabian Sea, Persian Gulf, once that's completed, significant amount of goods would flow in both directions between China and the Gulf, and they would arrive in UAE for re-export. So you've touched on it a little bit, but how else will this bilateral cooperation help the UAE diversify its own economy? Uh, UAE already has a relatively more diversified economy compared to its neighbors such as Saudi Arabia or Kuwait. However, um, we are going to see more in, um, Chinese companies in non-oil related activities such as finance or e-commerce that I mentioned coming into United Arab Emirates and therefore they are going to contribute more to the non-oil sector of the UAE economy. Also, development of this uh, additional trade zone means more Chinese goods would arrive and be re-exported. That's additional activity for the UAE ports, container ports, and commercial ports that is driven by trade with China. Is there a possibility for tourism to come out of this? Uh, yes. Uh, already last year, about a million tourists from China visited UAE. And recently, both countries uh, removed the visa requirement, which means that it's even easier for uh, Chinese tourists to travel to UAE. And uh, I anticipate that this means uh, we are going to see even uh, a larger number of Chinese tourists coming to the UAE in the coming years. So how will China navigate its way uh, in the UAE, in the Middle East area, with different conflicts going on, like mm -hmm. what we're seeing in Iran? Yes, of course. Actually, this um, is one of the reasons why the UAE is attractive, because the region is um, vulnerable to instability and terrorism, but UAE is one of the um, relatively safe and stable uh, countries with a very hospitable economic environment. Um, 
also China has always tried to remain neutral and focus on expansion of economic relations rather than taking sides in the ongoing um, conflicts and uh, tensions in the region. For example, the tension between Iran and Saudi Arabia. So in terms of multilateralism, are the UAE and China on the same page? Um, there is agreement on most issues. I think there is some disagreement on Iran because uh, China has good relations with Iran and UAE and Saudi Arabia together have tried to isolate Iran because of Iran's uh, policy in the Middle East, uh, which they perceive as interference in Arab affairs and uh, a cause of instability. Uh, so that, uh, on that, there is disagreement. But overall, uh, UAE is a country which focuses on trade, on economic growth and economic development. And China is also pursuing similar objectives, primarily interested in trade, good economic relations, and using economic relations to further increase the living standard of uh, Chinese people. Well, after the UAE